Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's short video, I'm going to change the spark plugs on my 2018 Harley-Davidson Road Glide with the Milwaukee 8 engine, so stay tuned. Those of us with Harleys that have the Milwaukee 8 engine know that it has four spark plugs not the two in prior engine models. The Milwaukee 8 has two plugs on the left side of the engine and it has two plugs on the right side of the engine that's referred to as the inboard side. Now in order to remove the inboard plugs, according to the service manual, it looks like we're gonna to have to remove the fuel tank, which is no big deal. So let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the left saddle bag and then remove the seat. Now the service manual does say to remove the console first, but on this model, that's not necessary. I can remove the tank with the console still intact. Next, I'm gonna unplug the fuel pump connector, which is this gray connector right here. And then I'm gonna run the engine to remove the fuel in the fuel supply line, which I'll be unplugging in just a second. The fuel line should be clear. Now I'm going to disconnect the fuel supply line by pulling up on the chrome sleeve of the quick connect fitting while pulling down on the supply line. And that black zip tie you see there is just to help hold some wires from my LED lights. Next I'm going to remove the main fuse which is this 50 amp right here. Then disconnect the fuel level sender. Disconnect the fuel vapor vent tube and then free up the overfill hose right here. Now I'm gonna take my half inch socket and remove these two screws where the tank is attached to the bike's backbone. and then remove the two screws at the front of the tank. But first, we have to remove the rubber caps. Then with the same half inch socket, remove the two screws on each side. And now I'm just going to lift the rear of the tank and slide it back to remove it. Fortunately, I only have about a quarter of a tank of gas, which makes <laughs> this fairly light. Now, just going to sit it here in the safe place. This would be a good opportunity to do some cleaning in areas that's difficult to reach when the tank is on. Because I don't have an official spark plug wire puller, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers here just to get up underneath the plug wire and gently pry up and remove the spark plug wire. Now these are a little more tricky. So I'm using my cotter pin extractor tool to actually reach down to the bottom of the plug wire and pull it up from the bottom as I lightly pull from the top to remove these wires. And I apologize for the bad camera angle there's the rear plug, now to the front plug. Now I'll take my 5 8 spark plug socket and just remove all four plugs.
Again, the inbore side is just a little bit deeper. So now that I've loosened the plug, I'll reach in and just remove it with a pair of needle nose. And the front one here, I'm able to just reach in with my hand and remove it. Now let's get ready to install the new plugs, which are Harley part number 316-00012. I just want to check the gaps of my spark plugs with my feeler gauge. And according to the service manual, the gaps should be between 31 thousandths and 35 thousandths of an inch. All four plugs are within specs. I'm just going to apply some anti-seize lubricant to the threads. and begin to install them. First I'll start by hand and then I'll snug each one up with my ratchet and socket and finish by torquing each one between 89 and 133 inch pounds. Again according to the service manual. And now I'll reconnect the plug wires and I'm listening for a click sound. And now to the inboard side. Finishing with the torque wrench. And all that's left to do now is put everything back together. So first I'll install the fuel tank. Just slide it into place. Making sure everything is aligned. And then replace the screws. And then I'll finish off with the torque wrench. And the specs in the service manual says that these should be torqued between 15 and 20 foot-pounds of torque. Now just to replace the rubber caps. And now let's replace the two screws at the rear of the tank. Again, finishing them off between 15 and 20 foot-pounds of torque. I'll reconnect my fuel supply line and again by pulling up on the chrome sleeve and then pushing up on the supply line. Just give it a little tug to make sure everything's locked into position. Let's reconnect the fuel pump connector and the fuel level connector. Connecting the fuel vapor line. And now I'm going to reroute the overflow hose. And as you can see, oftentimes I take photos before I begin to work on things so I can have a visual reference of how things actually looked before I removed them. And all that's left now is to reattach the seat.
Reinsert the main fuse. And now, fire the bike up. And we're good to go. Well, that's all I have for this video. I hope it was helpful to someone. Hey, if you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already if you want to see more content in the future. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, be well and stay safe.